when I was casting the role of Thornton, um, my initial reaction was shock. Um, it had been a long casting process, um, and I, it, I, I realised it was the role of a lifetime. Um, but then, of course, I was incredibly honoured to have been asked to play it. I'd fallen in love with the novel. Um, and then other emotions kick in, like fear. Um, it's a, it was a huge mountain to climb, so you kind of have, and there's a lot of expectation for that, for that role as well. It's a, it's a big favourite of many people, so uh, that was the next stage to, uh, to get through before the read-through. Um, research um, obviously started with the novel, and the novel was around all the time, and there's, there's a great deal of um, rich kind of historical information in the novel, but I, I felt it was important to understand the industry that, that Thornton is in, so I uh, researched the cotton industry and I, I went to the various places in England where uh, there's working museums, one of which turned out to be one of the locations, which was brilliant. Um, I also read, there's, there's quite a lot of, um, I think Engels has written a, a, a book which was based around the sort of working classes in the 1850s, which is incredibly sort of detailed uh, about the poverty, so I, I looked at that for a start. And then um, read around the, the sort of um, the etiquette of the 1850s as well, although the, the Thorntons don't necessarily abide by those by those rules I felt it was important to know as much about the period as possible but primarily it's the um, it's the novel that is the point of reference I've read the book before I went in to be cast um, I, I got through it as quickly as I could I felt it was that I owed it to the role to to know as much about it before I um, you know attempted to to try and convince someone to cast me as Thornton, I thought it was important that I that I knew that character. But the the novel was there um, all the time for me. I, I'm, as my, Sandy's script obviously is the, is the, the first thing and the last thing that you abide by. But the novel was around all the time, and it's a great a great point of reference all the time we're filming. The costumes are really really important. The um, Mike and his team did an amazing job, as did um, Alison, uh, who worked with the hair and the, the kind of basic look of the, of the characters. Um, when, you, when you get into costume before the, the day starts, if they feel like costumes, then it, um, the creation of your character for that day is, is kind of marred in some way. So it was really important, the details, that my, my costumes were um, quite heavy fabrics and there were, there were kind of floor there was a big patch on the knee which was darned and so that gives your gives your character a sort of um it gives your costume a biography as it were the, the um and the kind of s stiff starched collars and cravat it's um it's a very useful tool which can then be deconstructed i think um there's a scene where the cravat came off um as a necessary moment um and not things like the the pocket watch was um quite an old, you know, beautiful piece of jewellery, and I decided that it belonged to Thornton's father, so that he was kind of wearing something of his father all the time. So in that respect, your, co your costume becomes clothing rather than costume. So yeah, it's really, really important. I do think that this marks a different sort of costume drama. I think that um, the style of shooting and the style of playing um, is very contemporary. Even though um, every department was honouring the the, uh, the accuracy and tradition of the 1850s, it wasn't the aim to make it um, a documentary or a museum type piece. So, although everyone was uh, attempting to be as accurate as possible, I think that the if you look at some the way that people look um, and the way that the camera works, it, it works like um, almost like another character. So you get very close to the action and and the. There's a there's a sort of motion uh, with the photography, which we're very used to when we watch contemporary drama. And traditionally, I think with period drama, it tends to be more static. So, in that respect, um, I think yes. And also the playing, the um, the style of playing, uh, the acting was the the leaning was towards making it as uh, 
contemporary as possible to, so that it resonated with a contemporary audience rather than alienating. So. I think being compared to Darcy is a huge compliment. That was a defining role for Colin Firth and he, um, it's memorable and it's, it's, you know, survived for many years and it's memorable to me. So to be compared to him is um, a huge compliment. I don't think there are too many similarities. I think that the temperament of this character is similar and the nature of their, their um, relationship, Margaret and John. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy to be compared to Darcy. The role of Thornton doesn't, doesn't really compare to anything else I've done before. Um, that's not to dismiss my other work, but it was, I think it was the greatest challenge I've, I've ever had. It was the role of a lifetime, I believe. Um, the the kind of the amount of information in that book and and the way that that character was loved by so many people. I mean, it was he's lived on a page for 150 years, so that's a a great challenge for a start. But um, there's a I think in in me there's a natural affinity because of my heritage towards this character. So I there were many aspects to which I related. Um, yeah, and I I kind of fell in love with the book. The locations are really important and 